Welcome to all. In today's GIM tutorial, let's see how to place an image inside your text. Let's get started with today's tutorial. First, let's open the image which we want to appear inside the text. Go to File, click on Open and select the image which you need to be placed inside the text and click on Open. Now, as you can see, your selected image will appear in your work area and in your layer stack, it will be created as a layer. Now, our layer has been created. Now, we are going to create a new layer. So, click on the new layer icon over here. And in the new layer box, the layer fill type, I am giving it as white. So, the layer should be white in color and click on OK. Now our white layer has been created. Now click on your text tool. And once your text tool appears, there will be a dialog box that appears along with it. As you can see, the dialog box that appears along with the text tool, the first one indicates your font family and the next one indicates your font size. And here you can see the styles of your font bold, italic, underline, and strike through. So you can use any format of your any format for your font. Either it can be bold and italic or bold, or you can underline it to specify. So you have options for it. And the next one is up. Changing the baseline of the selected text and the last one is changing the kerning of the selected text which means giving equal space between each letters of your text. You can do it either separately for each of your letter or you can do for your entire text and the last one is the color of your text. Now let's type our text. Once you have typed your text, you can increase the size of your text. So select your text and increase your size. You can increase your, the height and width and accordingly you can increase the size. <coughs> and then I want the font family to be impact condensed. So it's impact contents and it should be bold and italic. After you have done this, I still need my text to be a bit bigger, bigger in size. Fine. Once after the size of the text is being given, we'll increase the, sorry, we'll adjust the spacing between our text. So click on the arrow mark over here and as you can see once you start increasing it the space between the letters will get evenized. It will get equalized and now fine. This spacing is okay for me. This one I have done it for the entire text. I have increased the spacing for the entire text. You can even select a single letter and you can increase the spacing. So according to your requirements you can do this. Either you can increase the sorry you can equalize the spacing for your text for the entire thing or you can equalize the spacing between each of your letters. Once this is done, 
we have three layers over here in our layer stack first one is our background layer the next one is the white layer and finally the last one is our text layer now make your white layer invisible by clicking on the eye icon over here and once you have done this use your move tool and select the text layer and move the text move the text to the area where it should appear my text should appear somewhere between the flower and the sky so i am placing it over here done once you have placed your text in the specified place in your background once again make your white layer visible after doing this click on your text layer right click it and click on merge down so it will merge down with your white layer <coughs> now we have two layers there is one is our merge layer the another one is our background layer now click on your select by color tool and click on anywhere over your text once you have done this you can see that your text that is each of the letter in your text will be selected after this click on delete button once you click on your delete button if you see your image will be placed inside the text to deselect the selection click on control shift a now it's been deselected so now our image is placed inside our text if you need your background to be plain you can leave it like this otherwise if you need a color to fill your background you can use your paint bucket tool to fill in the background now let's see how to fill in our background so select the paint bucket tool and click on your foreground and background colors if you see once you select your paint bucket tool you will have three options your foreground fill that is the type of fill which you need foreground fill color fill background color fill and pattern fill so foreground color fill and background color fill as the name indicates it is used to fill the color of the foreground and the background of the image and pattern fill if you select uh, the radio button and click on the icon over here several patterns will be available if required you can use any of the patterns that are available over here for example maple leaf and if you select the layer that is the combined merged white layer and click on over here the image will be fill with a kind of pattern if you don't require this there is another option that is a foreground fill now click on the foreground fill and here multiple colors will be available you can use any color of your choice otherwise use the eye dropper tool over here and pick any color from the image that is your background image the image which is placed inside the text i am selecting the green color over here and you can move this line to get different shades of green so this green is okay for me click on okay and i am going to fill my layer with green now my layer is been filled with green a simple and an easy gimp tutorial of placing an image inside the text has been done let me meet you in another gimp tutorial session try this tutorial and let us know your feedback thank you